Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Work in VR. In this tips and tricks video, I want to show you how to clear the immersed app cache. Now, the question is, why would you want to clear the application cache? Nine times out of 10, the answer is you don't. You don't want to do that. You usually don't need to do that. But if you start to see some funny things, like maybe you get booted out of public spaces every once in a while, or you get black screens excessively and things like that. One of the things that I've been noticing in this environment in particular, this is the members only lounge. Often there are people like this gentleman here sitting by this tree, and sometimes people are over by this tree. And I had asked some, some friends this morning, you know, how can you sit there? Well, there's apparently a couch here and a couch over there that I can't see. And another issue with this environment is if I go into my audio settings oops, here and I turned up the ambient volume, I don't hear anything. And so I've tried restarting my computer and my headset and the Immersed app, and a lot of times that fixes issues. But in this case, it hasn't fixed the issue. And so I'm thinking maybe I was, I have an older version or something's wrong with my app cache. And so I'm going to give that a try to see if it clears up these issues that I'm having over here. So the one thing to know before you do this is I have, for example, I have my screens all laid out just the way I like them. I have, notice I have the green, I, I like the matrix color theme. So I have that. If I look at my keyboard portal, I've got that all set up here for my keyboard. Well, I'm going to lose all of that if I reset the application cache. But if it fixes these other problems, I can take a few minutes to few minutes to reset up like my monitor slots and things like that to get back to my comfortable position and the way I like things. So, here is how you clear the app cache. First thing you want to do is go back to your Quest Home menu. So we'll exit Immersed and we'll go take a look out there. Okay, so here we are in the Oculus Home or the Quest Home environment. So I'm outside of Immersed right now. I want to go to the main menu here up into Settings. And then from the settings, I want to go to storage. And then on the storage, I need to find the Immersed app. And then this icon right here is delete app data. So I'm going to hit that. Okay, so now that that's deleted, I'm going to go back and launch Immersed and we'll take a look and see how it looks. Okay, so here I am back in Immersed, and you can see that the color theme has changed. I'm actually surprised that it kept general positioning of my screens here. I'm going to go ahead and check out the environments that I have access to. And notice I have to download all of them all again because I deleted the data so they're no longer on my headset. I'm going to go check out the Members Lounge. So I'm going to download that. And I'm going to see if the resetting of the application cache fixed my problems with the ambient sound and with the, the missing furniture in there. Okay, so here I am. And look at this. So I was sitting right over here. This is where I was sitting just a moment ago. And now you notice the gentleman over here is actually sitting in a legit spot. And notice this tree has the couch around it. So if I change seats, I can sit in these spots. So I can go ahead and move over here. So now I'm sitting in the spot that didn't exist a minute ago. And I can already hear the app cat or the uh, ambient volume is coming through for me. So that's great. So I'll take a few minutes and reset my preferences and reset up and fine tune my screens and my pass through portal and such. But again, you don't, you should not have to do that very often, but every once in a while, it's like a good spring cleaning. Just wipe out that app cache, reset everything up and you'll get nice fresh data 
and everything will be nice and clean and work well for you here at Immersed. So that's a quick tip on the app cache, and I pray that God blesses you with an awesome day. Thanks for watching this video.